you can tell by the title of this video, you'll know that this video is dedicated to acne scars, covering them, what I do to cover them, the products I use, and the process, and showing you. Now this guys was really hard to film for me because this is my number one insecurity. Um, when I was in high school, I had really bad severe acne. Um, now I deal with a lot of just old acne scars. I do get the hormonal breakout, but it is mostly like 95% scarring. So right now you can see I'm using the Kat, Va Kat Von D Locket Tattoo Foundation. Um, what I do is I dot it around the areas, which is everywhere, and then I buff it in using my Sigma Kabuki brush. And I really try and push it into the skin and buff it in. That way it really sits not on top of the skin, but is in, in the skin. That way it doesn't um, kind of wear off throughout the day. And I really cover as much as I can with the foundation before I use concealer or anything else like that. So this is kind of what it looks like as the process and what I do. Um, I just try and make sure there's an even kill all around uh, my face and make sure it's blended down to my neck. And then what I go ahead and do is I use this concealer, which is my go-to concealer. I'll dot this in places that I think maybe the foundation didn't cover and, or just if I still see just a light pigmentation, I'll still cover it uh, with the foundation or with the concealer stick. That way it's um, covered more so throughout the day. So right now I'm just dotting it around my skin and then I'm going to take a concealer from MAC and it's the Pro Longwear Concealer. And all I use this for really is just to highlight my face. So I just put this under my eyes, the center of my nose, um, above my lip, on my chin, and I blend that out as well using the Sigma Kabuki brush. So um, this is in shade NW20. Uh, the lady said at the counter this is the, one of the most purchased uh, products for highlighting that's a concealer. So I decided to give it a go. And this product works really great because it doesn't sink into the skin. Um, and the fine lines and wrinkles. Uh, if you, you can set it with a finishing powder without it getting in the creases. It's a really good concealer for the price as well. It lasts a while. So um, right now I'm just going to go ahead and when I do with my concealer instead of buffing it in is I push it into the skin. Um, instead of rubbing it around I'll really just kind of tap it and push it into the skin instead of rubbing it around because if you rub it around then you're kind of moving the product off the space you want to cover whereas if you're pushing it in you're really trying to cover that exact spot so that's what I'm doing around my face and really setting in the concealer into the foundation and on into my skin so as you can see that's what I'm doing right now and so after all is done with that um, I'm gonna go ahead and set everything with a powder. This is the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Light and all I do again is just, I just push this on top of my skin to set everything. So this is how I cover my acne scars. Hey guys, so I want to do a video on how I control and cover my acne scars from when I was younger and tell you about the products I use. So um, if you're interested in that, please keep watching. The first thing that I use and that I have been using constantly since I bought it is this foundation. This is Kat Von D Lock It Tattoo Foundation. It is a full wear, 24 hour wear, transfer resistant matte finish, oil free, fragrance free foundation. So if you have sensitive skin and you're sensitive to the fragrances, it doesn't have a chemically smell to it. It works really well in covering my acne as you saw, in my ac mostly my acne scarring. That is most like 95% all acne scarring. Um, it was really hard for me to film that for you guys, but I want to put it out there to let you know if you're dealing with the same thing, you're not alone, and this is the stuff that I use, and hopefully it'll help you in choosing some stuff to help cover up your issues as well. And also, I have been trying to um, fade the acne scarring. It's been a process. had it since high school. It's just something, and it's also hereditary for me to have acne. It runs in the family, so... Um, yeah, it's not that it's I'm I, it's not that I'm unhygienic. It's just a list laundry list of things. So um, I just want to throw that out there as well. So this is the foundation that I use. Um, I wear medium 53, and the reason that um, you would have seen that my face was paler than the foundation is because I was trying to match it to my neck because um, I have been self tanning. So that is why that is a little bit darker than my face. Rather than having to put self tanner on my face. And I don't want to put anything extra on my face than I have to. 
So this foundation is my holy grail. I've been using it ever since I got it. It works really, really well at combating the oiliness that I get. I get a really oily T-zone and it works really, really well at covering and lasting and not fading. Now, I don't know if you guys who also have the same issue as I do, if you're used to foundations kind of slipping or sliding or oxidizing or um, kind of just smearing off throughout the day, this stuff does not do that. This stuff is a really amazing product. Also, if you need concealer on top of that, which I showed, um, I found a really good drugstore concealer. And this is the Revlon Photo Finish Concealer. And I have a couple of them actually. Um, but it looks like this, it comes in a stick form, just like that. And this is a really good product for covering acne or acne scars on your skin. Um, it is around, I think, $9. Um, at the drugstore, but it is a very good product in covering for the face and acne scars. And also, I got this and it is from MAC. It's a Pro Longwear Concealer. You'll have seen I use this under my eyes and kind of to highlight. The lady at the MAC counter told me it's one of the highly most purchased uh, products for under eye concealer and highlighting, so that's why I got it. It doesn't settle into the fine lines under my eyes. I can use a setting powder. It doesn't get cakey. It's a really good product. Um, I haven't used it on acne scars or anything like that. I just use it to highlight, but it's a really good product in itself. It's a high coverage. All the stuff I'm showing is high coverage, so there's that. Also, um, sometimes I'll go ahead, before I even do my foundation, I'll use a primer on my face to help combat the oiliness. And what I use is uh, sample stuff I've gotten from Sephora because I'm still trying to test out a couple things but I'll go ahead and show you the things that I've um, used so I've used the Smash uh, I went ahead and used the Smashbox photo finish oil free uh, one of the main things I'll kind of try and push out there is oil free especially if oily skin um, so I've gone ahead and used this which was worked really well and I'm working on this it's by Murad it's an oil control mattifier with SPF 15 um, it works really well. Both of these have worked really well for me, so um, I'm debating on actually getting the full size of this, the Murad one. Also, if you get oily eyelids, this is a drugstore find that I found. Um, this works really well at making sure you don't get oily eyelids throughout the day on top of your eyeshadow. And this I would compare to like the Sephora high-end ones. It's only $3. It's by e.l.f. It's their eyelid primer, has like a little doe foot applicator. It's an amazing product. Um, for only $3, you can't beat that. <laughs> also what I use to set everything once my I have all my foundation and concealers on is I use this by MAC. It's the Mineralized MAC Skin Finish in Natural and I have it in light and medium. Here's the light one. I use this to set all over my face. Um, and I noticed that if I just dust it lightly, it'll really help combat the oiliness. My face, no matter what, at the end of the day, is going to get oily, so this stuff really helps in combating that. So this is what I use on my face after everything to set everything. I've also used the um, Urban Decay D Slick Setting Spray, and that works just as fine, but I prefer a powder to doing sprays or anything like that, so, but that's just a personal preference. Um, also, um, for this, the foundation, if you feel you are more of dry skin but you still get breakouts, I don't know that I'd recommend this unless you kind of mix this in with your moisturizer because it is thicker. So um, just to throw that out there. But it works really, really well for me for my oily skin type. So I just wanted to throw that out there. The video was kind of hard for me to film because not even my husband seen me without makeup. I've always had some form of covering on like concealer or something because this is like my number one insecurity is my skin on my face. I don't get acne anywhere else except on my face. So um, I wanted to share with you guys what I do and hopefully this helps you also and um, I hope you enjoy the video and I hope most of all that you get something out of this for those who are struggling like I have been in the past and I'm just now coming to terms with what needs to happen and what I use to really help cover up everything and make it last. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye! So this is the final look. This is with everything on my face that I have, the foundation, bronzer, blush, all that good stuff. This is what the final look looks like. I hope this has helped you in maybe having the same issue and products that might help you in the future. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you next time.